So how do we protect against denial of service and distributed denial of service attacks? The first thing is you really want to watch out your Trojan code. In other words, you really want to make sure that you're running and updating your antivirus software. This will help you find Trojan horse code. Now, Trojan horse code is simply code that hides and stays hidden on your system, but it allows remote control and access by an attacker. Remember that the agent code that allows your system to become a zombie is implemented typically as Trojan code, and so that will help you from participating and actually being an agent and affecting other individuals. Also, make sure you're watching out for any unusual UDP packets on your network. This is very common, uh, a signal or a sign that your system has been Trojan or another computer on your network has been the victim of Trojan code. Now, not all Trojan code is part of a distributed denial of service attack, but it's still bad and so we still want to look for it. Now, we also want to watch out for any unusual UDP packets. UDP is very common for multimedia, so you have to be careful if you're users or if you're actually serving a lot of multimedia yourself. UDP packets are typically an indication that some subtle communication is going on. The reason hackers like UDP packets is because it's a little bit more difficult to watch and protect against that type of traffic in your firewall. So in your intrusion detection system or in the logs of your systems on your network, look for unusual patterns that don't seem to match typical multimedia traffic. You also want to be careful of IRC. Now this is very difficult. A lot of very technical people still use IRC above and beyond the more common modern day instant messaging programs. However, IRC is a very, very common way that hackers send their command information to agents out there on the network. Also, be careful that you don't log filtered or dropped packets. In other words, when your firewall prevents bad packets from coming in, don't log it. Or if you log it, make sure you have enough disk space. Because many hackers will try to use this as a form of distributed denial of service attack. In other words, they will send so much bad traffic intentionally to your firewall, hoping that when your firewall fills up its log, it will either fail or simply not see any actual bad penetration traffic. And finally, if you become the victim of a massive distributed denial of service attack, you need to contact your internet service provider immediately. This will allow them to contact their internet service provider and so on and so forth so you can trace down the attack at its source. Sometimes this is the only way to effectively stop or control a distributed denial of service attack.